we begin with a busy day along the border and a new smuggling method being used to try and outsmart local border patrol. I'm Daniel Marin. Natasha has the night off. Also tonight, some Mexican governments declaring an emergency due to the migrant caravans. KTSM 9 News reporter Estefania Seyfert has it all covered live from the U.S.-Mexico border. Well, as a warehouse is coming together in East El Paso to house migrants, some parts of Mexico are warning against receiving them, telling residents the majority of migrants are not coming peaceful. We're leaving gaps, and that's the reality of it. U.S. Border Patrol agents discovering a new tactic in counter surveillance as they continue to apprehend large groups of immigrants and gang members attempting to cross illegally into the country. They're flying drones overhead to see where our agents are at and then telling people where to run to try to evade our agents. According to Border Patrol, a drone was spotted traveling between the El Paso and Juarez line just before a group of 10 people attempting to enter the U.S. were stopped by agents. The infrastructure for smuggling people is here on both sides of the border. So all they've got to do is get them up to the uh, edge of the Rio Grande and tell them to come forward. So there's no risk to the smugglers. Meanwhile, Mexico pushing back on migrants. The Mexican state of Chiapas declaring a national emergency, trying to block a caravan of about 2,000 Central Americans and advising residents to stay indoors. All this in the same week that Mexican immigration officials deported 204 migrants back to Honduras from Veracruz, many of whom were women and young children, according to Mexico's National Institute of Migration. Back in Texas, Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Kevin McAleenan touring a Border Patrol detention center in McAllen and giving an update on the efforts to help families and children. DHS, we're taking aggressive action to mitigate the crisis, to protect vulnerable people in our custody by expanding medical care creating temporary facilities. As we've reported, the U.S. government is working to open up two new large tent facilities to detain up to 1,000 migrants, one of those facilities set for El Paso. Live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Estefania Safer, KTSM 9 News. Hi,